Hello everyone and welcome to the Lazy T-Bone channel. We hope that you enjoyed today's video. Today what we are going to be doing is basically blowing our yard off. So the cows, you can see them out there. We're going to show you they just line up when we start the blower and start blowing it over there. They really like it. Luke there really seems to enjoy the leaves. Um, they all do, but he will get right in the blower. We'll see if we can catch that on video today. And then we're going to drag the pasture and pull a layer of hay off the haystack. So we're gonna blow the yard off, Adelaide and Sophia are gonna help me. And so, Sophia, you wanna go get those cones in the pasture and put those over by the canoe, okay? Yeah. You wanna pick up those balls? So we got that all blown in and they are chowing. So now we'll pick it up and throw it over the fence. The girls have started and put it there in the tire. Nutritionally, I've heard that there's no value in these leaves. They're fruitless mulberry leaves that we rake up, but getting them out of our yard helps our yard look a little bit better. And so we do that to help the yard look better. And the cows just really seem to enjoy it. So uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Here you can see those cows are chowing on them. They love them. This is our cow candy. They are loving them. Adelaide, which is your favorite cow? Um, Diva. Diva is Adelaide's favorite. And Sophia, which one is your favorite? Um, probably which one? Pasture maintenance, a lot of times you get manure that's just piled up and grass doesn't grow under that. So you need to break that up as best you can and figure out what you can do in order to help the grass grow. So we're gonna show you what we do here. So if you take just a regular hog panel, cattle panel, um, they come in different sizes and different spacings between them. Hook it up to whatever you have. We have a golf cart here. Whatever you have around, quad, lawnmower, um, golf cart, pickup truck, whatever you have, and drag something like this around behind you. Obviously, the bigger the vehicle, say a truck, you could turn this thing sideways and maybe get a couple of them to do a wider stretch as well. So. Um, we're just going to drag this thing around and bust up 
all the manure out here in this pasture. So give the grass under it all a chance to grow. As you can see here, we have quite a bit that has been piling up. So that's what we're gonna do here. So it does a pretty good job of busting up. Unless it's very severe, but anything that you do to help the grass be able to come through is definitely helping your pasture. Spreading those nutrients around for other grass to get a hold of, the roots, etc. So we attempted to transplant a palm tree and not sure if it's gonna live. There's green in the center, but these guys, it has made a very nice rubbing post for them. Are you guys gonna kill the palm tree? get a layer of hay off of here keep it covered so the stack saves from the top layer down so we cover it with black plastic it's been the best at keeping our hay dry so we're gonna peel this off and then throw a layer down stack it up against the uh, haystack as we use it through the week and move on with that so enjoy See if we can move this out of the way. To show you what I do to preserve my hay all year long. We used blue tarps for years and we always lost hay. Since I've been doing this, I have saved. I don't think I've lost any hay actually since I've been doing this for about four years now. So with these black tarps, you can buy it in a hundred foot roll. Um, it comes 20 feet wide by 100 feet rolls at Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever. And I cut it in 20 foot sections. And then I do this. So I tied the back side the same as this. And then whenever I'm taking hay off, I only have to undo one side. But I just tie a simple square knot. And you tie a square knot. As tight as you can. Stuff in the extra, and now we're gonna take one rope. We go above the bottom layer and go around. Now, this is literally one rope around this whole thing that is gonna hold it and keep the wind. I've speculated and tried to think through why it does this. My conclusion is this black tarp, those blue tarps are woven and so air can get in them. So air blows in and then it billows out the other side. The wind gets to whipping it and destroys the blue tarp. The woven also, if there's any kind of sag in the top, then <clears throat> it starts seeping down through and runs your hay from the top of the stack down. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, this tarp is straight plastic, so no wind can blow in from the backside and cause it to whip as well. It's not woven, so even if it puddles on top, it just puddles, it doesn't drip down in, and then it rolls off the top. So I square the top. So with the blue tarps, I mean, I peaked it, I tried everything to keep water running off and it didn't matter, there was always rent hay bales. So with this method and with this light plastic, I literally don't think I have lost any hay bales. Now I also have started stacking it on pallets. So on the bottom of the stack, there are pallets to hold the hay off the ground. So whatever water comes in, there was actually water sitting right here earlier this year when we had a really bad storm, but uh, keeping it up off the ground really helped. So um, wrapping in this black plastic, the wind storms come and I completely ignore it. 
with all the stacks that I'm using right now and feeding, I just stack right here up against this hay stack to use them throughout the week. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this Monday Monday on a farm and we'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. If you have any questions, comments, leave them in the comments section below. Let us know what you think of farming. And if you've used this method, uh, maybe tell us how, what is the percentage of hay you've lost with the blue tarps and how that has not worked. Because for us, I would say it was anywhere from 10 to 20% that we would lose every year with the blue tarps and like I said since I've been using this I haven't lost any due to rain or water.